cycles. What are the patterns of breathing that allow for the most rapid reduction in stress levels? Chronic stress is slowly killing you by shortening your lifespan. But what if we told you that science has a 100% free stress-busting hack? Stick around and let's explore the game changer, breathing. By the end of this video, you will understand the detrimental effects of stress on health and lifespan. You will know the science behind how breathing exercises effectively combat stress levels and learn the three potent breathing techniques recommended by Dr. Andrew Huberman to calm your stressed and anxious nerves. Let's get started. From teenagers to senior citizens, no one is free from stress. Being under constant stress affects you both mentally and physically. Under stressful situations, like being late for work, missing a deadline, or social interactions, our brain releases stress hormones to activate the body's fight or flight response. The stress hormone cortisol increases our heartbeat, blood pressure, and breathing rate to deal with threats. Once vital for survival, the human stress response now overproduces the hormone cortisol due to chronic modern stressors. Continuous activation of this system leads to excess cortisol and overactivation of fight or flight mechanisms. This wreaks havoc on the body and mind, including increased risk for anxiety, depression, insomnia, heart disease and stroke, impaired immune system functioning, digestive issues like cramping, bloating and ulcers, headaches, muscle tension, back pain, lack of motivation, poor concentration, burnout. Above all, chronic stress shortens your lifespan by accelerating cellular aging. It's been found that people with high stress have significantly shorter telomeres, which are protective caps at the end of chromosomes that promote longevity. Stress has also been linked with inflammation, another hallmark of aging. Now, imagine yourself living your life free from the impacts of stress. Feels nice, doesn't it? You're now about to discover proper breathing techniques that kill stress, adding healthy years to your life. But why is breathing a stress buster? Breath control techniques have been used since ancient times through yoga, tai chi, and other forms of meditation to promote mindfulness and declutter the mind from stress triggers. When we are stressed, we take short and shallow spurts of breaths, using our shoulders rather than our diaphragm to push air in and out of our lungs. This method of breathing disturbs the balance of gases in the body. Plenty of scientific studies have shown that taking proper and controlled breath supplies the right amount of oxygen to the body, which helps in stabilizing levels of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood. This, in turn, provides innumerable benefits to the body. First of all, reduced levels of stress hormones in the blood, lowered blood pressure and heart rate, balanced improved immune system functioning, increased physical energy, increased feelings of calm and well-being, improves emotional awareness and regulation, and the most significant benefit is mental clarity and increased focus. Now that we've covered the impacts of chronic stress, let's explore the breathing exercises recommended by Dr. Andrew Huberman you can start using today to eliminate stress. Breathing techniques shared by Dr. Andrew Huberman. Andrew David Huberman is an American neuroscientist and associate professor of ophthalmology and neurobiology at Stanford University School of Medicine. He is also the founder of Huberman Lab Podcast, which is ranked as the number one health podcast in the world. In these podcasts, Dr. Huberman discusses science and science-based tools for improving everyday life and health. According to Dr. Huberman, breathwork practices are zero cost and require minimal time, yet provide a unique and powerful avenue to improve overall quality of life that is grounded in clear physiology. Huberman recommends three breathing exercises to reduce stress, improve mood, and optimize health. The first exercise is diaphragmatic breathing, second, alternate nostril breathing, and third, box breathing. Let's start changing your life. One, diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle located at the base of our lungs. It plays a vital role in breathing. When we inhale, our diaphragm tightens and moves downward. This creates more space in our chest cavity and allows our lungs to expand. When we exhale, the opposite happens. In other words, our diaphragm relaxes and moves upwards in the chest cavity. Our diaphragm needs to be involved fully in the breathing process. However, we engage in chest breathing and pull our stomachs in while breathing, which hinders the proper exchange of gases and the absorption of oxygen by the lungs. Diaphragmatic breathing, also called abdominal breathing or belly breathing, encourages full oxygen exchange to provide the body with several benefits, which include helping you relax, 
improving muscle function during exercises and preventing strain, increasing oxygen in your blood, making it easier for your body to release gas waste from your lungs, reducing blood pressure, reducing heart rate, relieving anxiety. Here's how to do diaphragmatic breathing. Lie on your back on a flat surface or in bed with your knees bent. You can use a pillow under your head and your knees for support if that's more comfortable. Place one hand on your upper chest and the other on your belly just below your rib cage. Breathe in slowly through your nose to let the air in deeply towards your lower belly. You can imagine filling up a balloon in your belly to allow your stomach to rise. The hand on your chest should remain still while the one on your belly should grow. Tighten your abdominal muscles and let them fall inward as you exhale through your pursed lips. At this phase, you can imagine deflating the balloon in your belly. The hand on your belly should move down to its original position. You can also practice this sitting in a chair with your knees bent and your shoulders, head, and neck relaxed. Practice this several times a day to get habitual to it and replace chest breathing with it. Two, alternate nostril breathing. Alternate nostril breathing is a quite popular yoga breathing exercise, which is also called channel cleaning breath. And it is said to clear your energy channels and bring about inner balance. The idea of alternate nostril breathing is to isolate each nostril, breathing in through one and exhaling through the other. This breathing exercise is super helpful for regulating your nervous system by lowering stress, improving concentration, reducing fear or nervousness, sharpens your focus and energy, regulates blood pressure, and detoxes the body by removing toxins and promoting an overall well-being. Here's how to practice alternate nostril breathing technique. To begin, exhale through your mouth and make a whooshing sound. Bring your right hand up to your nose with your index finger placed next to your left nostril and your thumb over your right nostril. Use your thumb to block your right nostril. Inhale through your left nostril. Use your index finger to block your left nostril. At this point, both nostrils should be held closed. With both nostrils blocked, hold your breath for a beat or two. Release your thumb to unblock your right nostril and exhale. Take a brief pause after you exhale. Then repeat the exercise, keeping your left nostril closed and inhale through your right nostril. Use your thumb to block off your right nostril. With both nostrils held closed, hold your breath again for a beat or two. Release your index finger to unblock your left nostril and exhale. Three, box breathing. Box breathing is an effective technique deployed by people with high stress jobs, such as policemen and soldiers. The purpose of box breathing is to restore the breathing pattern during a stressful situation as the body's fight or flight response to stress elevates the heart rate. This breathing technique also goes by some other names, such as four by four breathing, four, 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 four breathing, equal breathing, four square breathing, square breathing, this breathing technique is super helpful for reducing the production of the stress hormone cortisol, increasing alertness and attention levels, sharpening mental focus and clarity, calming your mind. Box breathing involves four simple steps, but before beginning this exercise, close your eyes and visualize a box with four sides. As you breathe, imagine following an imaginary circle moving from one corner of the box to the other. For instance, you can imagine that the circle is moving horizontally from the first top corner of the box to the second corner and work your way around until you return to the starting point. So start counting at the top side of the box. Breathe in slowly through your nose for a count of four. As you follow from the second corner of the box to the down corner, hold your breath for a count of four. Following from the third corner to the fourth corner, breathe out slowly for a count of four, releasing all the air from your lungs. Moving upwards from the fourth corner to the first, hold your breath for a count of four. If four seconds feels too long, you can reduce the count to three or two at each step. And once you feel comfortable, you can slowly increase the count to four or even five. Give these three science-backed breathing exercises a try for five to 10 minutes a day to get your stress under control. With reduced stress levels, your heart, liver, brain, and other vital organs will be better equipped to effectively carry out their functions and your mind and body will thank you. Like every exercise, breathing exercises also require practice and consistency. So make sure to regularly practice these exercises for a few minutes to witness positive changes in your body. Also, we would recommend that you listen to your body and start slow. 
If you are an asthmatic patient or struggling with any other respiratory issue, be sure to consult a healthcare professional before adopting any of the breathing exercises.